windy day in Toronto. And the, the way that depression is just smooching all over me, like finding a place to live in Toronto is one of the most stressful situations I've ever been in, especially when you don't have a lot of money to your name. And landlords are just looking for numbers. So when the numbers aren't what they're hoping for, babes, you're not gonna find a place to live. I'm literally consumed <laughs> with anxiety. I, we, Rich, my roommate and I have been looking for, I feel like a month now, and we've, got, we've gotten rejected so many times, I literally feel like we're never gonna find a place to live. But I have to be optimistic. I have to be optimistic. <laughs> I'm sitting at home in my work uniform, about to have lunch, drink some tea, um, just do a bunch of emails and whatnot. I'm in such a down mood and I don't even know what to make my, I don't even know what to do to make myself feel better because I do know what to do. Just, <laughs> I can't really make myself feel better. I have to like sit with my feelings and whatnot and I'm gonna do that. And also I have work in a couple of hours and Going to work is not my favorite thing in the world. <laughs> so I'm like, it is what it is. I have to do a bunch of emails. Um, whoever was doing cash, like our tip out, fucked up my tips and only gave me $17. I'm like, so now I'm gonna write them a brutal email. I'm like, bro, run me my money. <laughs> run me my money. So I'm gonna do that. I have to call Visa, I have to just do a bunch of adult shit. But yeah love that for me you know the vibe just took a shower i feel clean and nice and good laid my edges yeah i just got home and i'm so thankful that i made my bed earlier today oh my gosh thank you past jazz Today's Monday, October 18th, and Rachel and I <sighs> didn't get another place. They had another offer that went in earlier than ours and leased the property out to them because I think we might have gotten our offer in a little too late. So another day, another rejection. Shout out to my yoga. Shout out to the yoga that I did this morning because usually... Like our realtor texted us and was like, oh ladies, the property's been leased out. Usually when we get that text or we get the email saying we didn't get the place, I feel like jumping off of a cliff. But I did my yoga this morning and you know what? I don't feel horrible. It is what it is. We didn't get the place. We're gonna go view um, our realtor, Nicole, and I are gonna go view another place. Rachel isn't able to make it today, which is cool. I'm gonna FaceTime her when I'm there and I'll show her the place. I'm literally sitting here processing this rejection. Love that for me. Not only can't I find a place to live, my laptop is not working. I have online school. I'm a university student who's doing online school and my laptop's not working. Make it make, make, it make sense. Make it make sense. I'm I <laughs> I literally don't know what to do right now. I have class from seven to eight p.m. That gives me like six, seven hours to <laughs> get this shit figured out. The only appointment time that they have that works with my schedule is net is on Friday. That's in three days. Oh, also, so the place that we went to go see yesterday, the area was absolutely beautiful, but but here's the kicker here's the kicker they were doing like renovations on the windows so they wouldn't let anyone view it and the listing agent didn't know that so you know she sent us to the other side of the city and then when we got there there was no key in the lockbox and we were literally just there for vibes we drove 40 minutes just for vibes <laughs> One thing life is doing right now is lifing the fuck at, like, mm, mm. My life may be falling into shadows, but one thing I'm gonna do is take an IG picture. Mm, bro.
priorities, baby.